Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you today? It is your girl Achola. Today on Achola's Closet, I am going to show you guys how I like to wear my button up shirt. But before we dive into the video, if you are new here, welcome here on Achola's Closet. We like to talk personal style and how to look and feel your best at any budget. Let's just dive right into the video. Take this shirt and flip the collar inside. So now we are just creating a nice V neck shirt and that is button up. And as for the bottom, I normally, again, I'll do like two buttons here and just take one side, half tack that. And just like that, you are done. Nice sexy v-neck shirt you can definitely tuck this into a skirt for work if you like and if you feel like the v-neck is a little bit too low you can just button it you know <laughs> button up another button to look number two we are going to keep this just as is now you want to take the shirt Right, and just place it over one shoulder, and then you're gonna turn the buttons as well, just a little bit to the side here. And that is all. Now you can take, what I like to do with the bottom, I take that and I tie it into a knot. just like that I know now this one here is just so cool I love the one shoulder look I think this just looks perfect you can do it with short shorts for summer you can even do with like I normally like to pair this with white pants or my black and white pants right here the top shop one but I absolutely love this look my shirt literally taking it around to here right under your boob make sure it is tight now you're just going to do one and two buttons right there now your left hand side you have this sleeve you're going to take that sleeve plus the right hand bottom of the shirt and you're just going to tie a knot right so it gives you this beautiful asymmetrical look that i really love and i think this is just so much fun shirt now you're just going to take your right hand side oh you definitely gonna need a bra with this and you're just going to tuck the tail into your bra and then you do the same thing with the other side you go and it's all set so you literally just took the shirt right that's your shirt place it over and then you just want to button it right above your boob you can do a couple of buttons if you like now your arms are hanging right here now we just grab the arms or the sleeves <laughs> and tie it into a knot. I mean, you can even do a wrap if the sleeves were long enough where you can wrap it around and tie it on the back, you can do that. But because this sleeves is a little bit shorter, I'm just gonna tie it at the front. 
There we go, and it is it's just very pretty, very summery. If you want, you can even layer this with like, let's say a t-shirt underneath or another button-up shirt underneath, which I usually like to do. <laughs> I like to, you know, layer my button-up shirts, but this one here is just as beautiful as well, and I love it. Next now, we're just doing the opposite. So we took the shirt and place it. I think the easiest way to do this will be to actually do up the button while you have the shirt on properly and just flip it around because this is hard. Now you're just going to take the sleeves. And just tie them out on the back. There we go. I think it's just so cute. You've got your color right up here. You can also do that. If the collar is more of a stiff collar, you can have it kind of stand up like this. Am I missing one? <laughs> I can't see, but if I do miss a button there, I'm sorry, but you get the point. So the first and easy way to actually just wear, oh, I see it right there. Can you tell I do this all the time? But, <laughs> however, First, an easy way to wear your button up backward is to literally just button it all the way up and all the way down. When it comes to wearing your shirt backward, you want to make sure the shirt doesn't have that pleat. You know what I'm talking about? Like the pleat on the back that a lot of shirts and blouses usually have. Make sure that your shirt doesn't have that. And um, also when you look in the back, just make sure you don't have pockets because I feel without the pockets and the pleats, it kind of just sits a lot more cleaner and um, it just, it looks like that's the style of the shirt. Just do up one button, like you do the top button here, right? And then just don't do the rest. And what I like to do at the front, usually I'll just half tack, like on the side here. But as you walk, you can see the open back detail. I think it's just very beautiful. I tend to wear this a lot more, especially to like work. I haven't worked to church before. I think this looks amazing when the shirt is tucked into a skirt because all you see is that pyramid you know on the back very sexy you can add a nice strappy bra like i have on here or you can just wear it backless as well no bra so that is also another way if you don't want to tuck it in or anything you can literally just take that fold it over and tie it into a knot Right? Right there. So you make a knot and it just fits so much better. Of course, you can make this as short as you want or as long as you want. I love mine a little bit longer like this as I don't have a flat tummy anymore. But <laughs> this is just such a nice look as well. And do all the buttons from the top tie a knot at the bottom here. If you don't want to tie it into a knot, you can literally just button up the last button of the shirt. But I also love this. I think it's very sexy. Now, if you want to accessorize it, let's say you're wearing a long necklace, you can kind of just have that sit on your back. When it comes to the collar, 
you want to fold the collar inward right just fold it down like that because it sits a lot more cleaner and you don't have this fabric kind of just hanging on your neck but there you go you can do it let's say with a sweater or with a t-shirt anything you want now you're just going to take another shirt like this and what I like to do, just take the other shirt and just tie it at the bottom here. Right? For me, I love adding a little touch of additional print and whatnot. And this look right here, you'll see me doing it a lot during summertime, especially to work. I just think it's so nice. And you can see all the different prints at the bottom there, right? But that is it. Just very simple, very casual, a little bit edgy, you can say. A lot of the times I'll match the prints. So I'll do a stripe with, let's say, another stripe shirt underneath. If I'm doing a floral, I'll do another floral underneath, something like that, to tie the two together. Shirt, you take the shirt, put it on. Again, you can do this with a strapless bra. Now you're going to take your sleeves, wrap it around and just bring it to the front. If it's long enough to do a double knot, you can absolutely do a double knot, but I also love this look. I think it's going to be perfect for summertime. Now I'm just gonna take the front, and I like to half tap, <laughs> half tag right there just like that and you are done right. so now for the skirt we're using a different men's shirt this right here i bought it from simon's and um, i just love the colors but now you are going to fold the collar in slight bit like that right and you are going to take it place it on your waist now you want to grab the buttons and you also want to grab the buttonhole take that and just button it depending on how high or how low you want your skirt to sit Okay, so it is all buttoned right now, and the sleeves is sitting right here. So you wanna grab both sleeves and just tie it on your waist. And if you want, you can tie the sleeves into a nice bow, but that will be a little weird having a big bow like right i know it's it's just not a good spot and um that is it and that is it for our today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video now if you made it to this point of the video and you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to my channel because I am trying to reach 100 by next month, so help your girl out. Also, don't forget to hit on that bell so you get notified every time a video drops. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and um, don't forget to leave me a comment 
letting me know how you are styling your button-up shirts. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.